<laughs> yeah, I've been completely ignoring the chat ever since I joined the Discord. Well, that's fine. It, but it would seem kind of rude for me to ignore it. Yeah. Of course, I, though I'm wondering, I have the 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 chat in in my uh, Twitch visual rig, uh, such as it is. Can you actually? Is that stuff actually legible? That was one of my big concerns. I can see it, but I have to like stream and look at it to see it properly. Fair enough. I can see it. Uh, I'll... I can see it. Mm. Maybe because I don't have my screen maximized. Eh, we got the cheap cheeps again. Hey. At least we have. At least this is a. At least this is a noticeable pattern to this. But wait, ah, dang it. Yeah. It's like the developers for this game was like, remember it was annoying fish from Mario? Let's let's like throw them in there. Oh, we. Cheap cheap. Yeah. They have a lot more weight than them in this game. They're not explodey. And yeah. Hi, hi, by the way. How much damage did this cheap cheap deal? Oh, hello, hello, Mega Kid Acres. I didn't realize. I didn't see you come in. Oh, I just joined. Hey there, Mega. What's up? This is this is my first time in uh, melee. You saying that as though I've actually had many calls to be in. Yeah. Yeah, no. And I say this is my first time when it's calls as well. I haven't been any. You know, it's only recently I actually got Discord. And the only, I think oh most of the time when I'm in Discord voice chat, it's uh, when I'm in uh, Pinky Rose's uh, server. Uh, so, uh, get us those. If you look at the message backlog on my server it's pretty much dead <laughs> though i it's a little mystery as to why though uh yeah well half my problem is i feel like if i talk to you i'd be quote annoying you oh no no no, no you're fine yeah i feel the same i kind of sort of feel the same way which, it, which the thing is art, artisan it, it's, it's funny you say that you're the only one that ever actually talks to me <laughs> uh i forget yeah. what the no, yeah, no crystallized. Not the one! Oh god, I hate this guy. But you know, it's like I never go out of my way to, like, PM you, unless, like, you PM me first. Oh god. I kind of sort of just do it. Wow. Is it water wave? I pretty much just. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. There's your weakness. It was the stone? No, it was water wave. Uh Oh, the stone's only gonna damage. Strange bone. Because isn't the weakness like 3 or 4 damage? Yeah, it's 4. Ah. Yeah. Like, like, what's he doing? Like, turning his phone with those O's? I was wondering. Yeah, he's freezing. Freezing or something along those lines. And. Yep. Hit me! Yep, that's <laughs> Yeah, even this stage has been altered. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember what this guy is weak to, though. Maybe Gyro? We'll see. Have they changed any of the weaknesses in this? Yeah, they have. Because uh, I believe the the weakness order of Pro Man it was Wave first, then Crystal Eye, then Gyro, and this guy was weak to Power Stone for a given definition of weak. Yeah. yeah. I think that's one thing I always make like the Mega Man games hard for the first time. Oh jeez. You know that weak to and most of the time it's just like. There we go, found yeah. your weakness, and I'm about to die, so... Yeah, I mean, some Mega Man games make it obvious, like, you know, you have a lightning sort of move, and then there's a water enemy, so you feel like that. Oh, yeah. Like, I remember Mega Man 
What was it, 10? Yeah, 10. I, I pretty much guess 7 out of, or 6 out of 8. But then you have some obscure ones where it's like the, the bosses aren't related to each other in any sort of way. So yeah. you don't know what to use. How dare you defeat my Dark Man robot! I spent a whole lot of money building that thing, and you just had to go and ruin it everything for me! I don't, you see, anytime it's Japanese, I wish there was a translation. It's funny, I just do what Ryuji just did, and just sort of put my own dialogue to it. Because that is pretty much what he says, anyway. Yeah, something like that. The curse you, Mega Man! I always... I don't know why I always find that amusing. When the, when the top of the ship pops off, he does that art. That eyebrow thing. <laughs> uh, what's my live side? It's at 9. I don't feel like picking that up for now. It's only. It feels weird. It just feels weird because it's. Oh, okay, we got this deal coming. Alright. Yeah, that's, that's great. Why make it double digits if the path go above 9? Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, the fact that whoa. some of them don't actually pop and the oh, platforms God. don't actually pop up for some of it kind of makes things more interesting. I will say it's that's it's an impressive programming feat, but gameplay probably looks like another story. Yeah. Whew. Whoa, that, was yeah, that was close. Yeah, it was. You would be really mean if it was like Oh, okay. I'm glad that I didn't fall victim to that mess. But didn't they have like a Mario Snake Block like thing in the original game? Yeah, it was in Mario World, I think. Yeah, that was a Mario World thing. Yeah. Ah, dang it, I wasted my second jump too soon. Roy and... Yeah, Although the snake block, that was, that did exist in... in, uh, Mega Man 5. It's just... It's just, it's just gone about in a different way this in this go-around. I like how the enemy is, like, certainly above the top of the screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see what do Oh... This part, I don't like this part. There's one thing I like about this, what I find hilarious about programming sometimes too is like when you die, everything is still trying to kill you even though you're dead already. Either that or they're going up to like the top of the screen because they don't know where the heck you are. <laughs> it could be like this one game I played when I was a kid. It's like when you die, the enemy, like, I am surprised I got through that on the first try, to be honest. Well, I'm, I'm already past that part. Oh, yeah, he does this in yeah. Okay, yeah. so how do I go about this bit of loveliness? <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, Not like that! Dang it. Yeah, it was, uh, and now I have to go through that, the crusher part, all over again. Yay. Like I said, don't jinx it. Oh, I'm gonna say, I was actually more worried about the crushing part. Or if anything, he has plenty of health to take damage from the spike balls going back and forth. Yeah, yeah. but... That's one of the spikes. I never, like, I guess it makes sense, but it doesn't make sense. Like, why make the spikes instant death? What else can make instant death? Could have been, like, lava or something. <laughs> uh. Then again, I'm I'm the weirdo that called on the pit quote the trash can. He just called that hole 
<laughs> you fall in the hole and you die. <laughs> yeah, as a kid I used- Oh, and then I used to call his mom a quote-unquote pizza sauce. So, as a person who speedruns games, how about Rip PB? That's- I love that as a name for that. You know what? Yeah, just use invincibility frames to my advantage. Yeah. Especially since I'm right at the end. Uh, what was the boss of the sky again? You said you speedrun, right? Um, oh, me? Heck no. I do. The only game I've only attempted speedrun one game. I don't know how to pay to the grind out, like... It's like in a single segment, it's like... I don't have the Power Stone that was the weakness from this guy? No, you seem to be immune to it. Okay. to set them for like three hours to make sure everything goes perfectly the whole time. I do, I like I suck at speedrun, but uh, mostly just Final Fantasy. I've done the Paladin of Pump um, 4. Oh dear. Uh, you know what? Ah, dang it. Whoa. I think oh, I, wow. I think I need to change the buttons that I'm using. I think my A button's sticking a bit. I love controllers. You know, I've, I've already got... Uh, I've actually got a... I just bought a uh, N64 to USB converter since I've got two legit N64 controllers. Nice. Was, uh, well, I don't think you can do that. Because I, I, so like, I know it's like on Amazon they have like actual USB N64 controllers. Which is what I'm using now. I don't know, I thought... <laughs> I bought one of those before. The quality, at least the one I got, the quality of it was like really bad. I'm actually looking at it right now. And the joystick on the... This comes right off very easily. I've yeah, on on mine, I've stopped using the analog stick on mine too. It can it it can kind of stay on the left side, and and that and how I've changed the buttons. Actually, remember what those buttons were, and not just mu muscle memory is starting to kill me now. <laughs> I yeah, yeah I'm 64 controllers. How about those? Yeah. And I've had these since probably probably this system first came out. Something yeah, I guess those I've got. And I've got two controllers that are about as old as the system that they came with, so. And for my games, and if goodness knows if they've lasted this long. Yeah. And goodness knows my controller looks like a hybrid between a PS4 and an Xbox One controller. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Oh, I think I know which one you're talking about. I know which yeah, I know. I think I know. It has the face buttons of the Xbox One, but it looks like a PlayStation controller. Yeah. Well, I suppose whenever gets the job done. Yeah. yeah. I used to have a Can you die, please? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> As for me, I used to have like this USB controller that was cheap at the store, and it lasted like 10 years, but, nice. but was it 8 years, whatever, but there was like a year in there where... I'm glad I didn't I have to use one of my energy tanks, because I actually don't have that many of them right now. And this boss, I'm probably going to be using most of them on, because this <laughs> guy freaking sucks. The, the boss for this one is largely unchanged, and that's not really a good thing, since his weakness is frickin' Star Crash. Not, and I don't plan on using it, because it's really unwieldy for that guy, and it's gonna drain the thing's energy real fast. If you, and for those who remember what the boss of this stage is. Yeah, it's the, it's the one with... But yeah, as we're playing here now, I just need the keyboard, which I really should get for at some point. Yeah, I've got the keyboard I, I used to use keyboard. I've gotten... I still use keyboard for ZC, if only because using the analog stick for that, even when it worked, was really awkward for me. Yeah. 
The only thing I hate though about keyboards is they only limit you to like a couple button presses. Yeah, and there's like billions of buttons on the keyboard. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of certain GCI is adapted to you. Me? When I play Zelda Classic, I have a... It actually works properly. I have a USB NES controller and it works. So... Oh, on the controller I have, I use the A button for A, the X button for B button items. I use, uh, uh, L, B, and, and R, B for, like, switching the B button Between items. Them, yeah. And then left trigger and right trigger for special items. Okay, the B button so. Careful here. Okay. I only, right. I have... I have like a different set for each game, but one thing is constant. I use the arrow key for movement, and most of the time, enter and plus for L and R. And I don't want to spoil things too much for those who don't know what my new LP is that just debuted today. But I actually have a uh, unique uh, button configuration just for that game, just for. Yeah, that's all it. Mm, I not kind of did that and I, I, I wouldn't feel the need to to do that if my d-pad wasn't very sensitive and I would be risking using pressing up or down without meaning to uh, how many any tanks do I have I have four that should get me through this stupid guy and I am oh yeah. God. Yeah, yeah, sorry that one LP idea ended up falling flat. Yeah, uh... It's just as well, because I found a better one. Oh, nice. What, uh... Yeah, and I, I had a feeling you might mention it, and yeah, uh, Adam and I were... working on uh, doing a, an LP for a Dragon Warrior 1 randomizer. And that kind of fell flat because of I goodness knows no, a number of reasons. Uh, and honestly, it didn't really yeah. wasn't really that much harder, I don't think, than than the original. But yeah, I, the, I, I, I know a lot of these randomizers are designed for people doing speed runs. Yeah, I was gonna say that actually. It's like it's meant for speed runs. And I only speed run I ever did. Woo, was okay, good. A speed run of. A length of the past, and even then, that took me like four hours. And the the <laughs> the thing about the Dragon Warrior randomizer I found, it actually randomizes the world map. <laughs> what? Yes. So it is a complete mishmash of all sorts of different things. Every location is in random spots. The spot where you find Edric's token is in a random spot. Although, the, uh, Gwaylin's Love does still tell you where it is. Just, just as much as, uh, in comparison to where Tangital Castle is. Yeah. And... Uh, should you be concerned? There's a lot of one up there. Because, boss rush time. Uh, I forget what the, where, which one was where, and, oop. Okay. I always is it the same I can't remember which Mega Man game it was, but is this boss rush the same to where as if you die once you have to fight all the bosses again? Yes. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. <laughs> I think all of them are that way. As far as I know. That, that's horrible when you die on one boss. You have to start thing, the whole thing over. Thing is Mega Man 1 was worse. Uh, oh wait. Oh, well, oh I mean I mean if you lose uh, I'm not even talking about that. I'm. Yeah, I meant the single death. I'm talking about the thing is in Mega Man One, the boss refights are mixed in with the rest of the stage. So you have to fight a couple bosses and then do more stage and then fight a couple more bosses and if you die, <laughs> then you have to start all of that over again. Okay, I think that is the Mega Man you was talking about. Because I remember if you died, you have to start like the whole thing over again. That's like the Well, that's... That's been the case for all of them. It's just Mega Man 1 is unique in that there's an actual stage between each boss. Yeah. 
Oh, jeez. Okay, good. I was afraid that wasn't gonna kill him on that last one. Uh, you know what would be kind of the meanest thing, I would think? What's that? Why not make, make it, like, so that, um... That you do the boss rush, but the order is completely randomized. Uh, and you don't... Or, or to be immortal, don't give you any health power-ups between them. That would be, that, that would be a bit much. Yeah, that would be ridiculous. Well, Alright. Starman, Star Man, time to use his weakness on him. Yeah, and Gravity Hold does pretty much the same thing, and it's pretty much the same way you would use any such weapon against their we against the boss weak to him. Just time it out so that you're not using it during their invincibility frames, and you're good. Yep. Oh dang! And yeah, I noticed Crystal Man Mega has hardly any invincibility frames against Napalm Bomb. At the very least. Yeah, but Mega Man, but Mega Man X has midway points at least. Yeah, yeah, that had midway points. There was stage in between them, but uh, it, it did have midway points, so if you die, you didn't have to stop all the way over, I think. But yeah, I couldn't remember what it was. I just knew it was one big of my game that I played. I, I'm not sure if it was a hack or something, but I knew once you died, start a whole rush over again. <laughs> uh, last one, process of elimination. Now let's see if we can see, if we see Charge Man's other move before I kill him. Yep, there it is. Me? Um, I'm not really too much into the Castlevania games. They're they're a bit above my pay grade, I think. I mean, I, the traditional Castlevania games I'm not into, but the Metroidvania. Uh, games weren't you weak to oh, yeah. something? Hey, hey. Uh, oh god. Yeah, Circle of the Moon, I really like that. Man. Really, it did a run of that game. I like that game. Ah, I forget what this guy's weakness was. I remember when, when he first posted a video on it, I was like, you know, that was like, one thing I love that game for is the fact that once you get two cards that can activate, you can just use anything right from the start of the game. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> also, I found a trick. Like, if you, like, say you use a summon and then you switch to, uh, what was it? Uh, Mars and Black Gold, you quadruple your damage. Really? Yeah. No, that's right. not. It's like I never, I never oh, knew wait, that. I think it was that, wasn't it? One, the only thing I used to use that trick for a lot was. I can't remember what the boss was called. I think it was like the, the dragon zombie or something like that. That was zombie dragon. Right. I know what you could do is if you walk into that room and don't go all the way in, like you could transform into the skeleton. And you know how we would like throw that giant bone sometimes? Yeah. And you could kill the zombie oh, dragon geez. and then leave the room and come back and he'd be back. So you could spam level up like that. I did that except instead I used uh the Thunderbird summon on a magician pile. Yeah, with a magician it would it would work better with magician because you have the uh you have the magic. I don't to know if that how much damage that did. With the magician Okay, yeah, that did good damage, okay. Now I just have to survive. I beat the game in like eight minutes, nine minutes. But then I just saw Come on. Thank you! Okay, good. I, I think I last used my last energy tank there. The last
<laughs> but that game is yeah. ridiculous in that regard, but you have to beat the game like three and four times just to get different types of characters. If anything, that just reply that uh, provides replay value. Yeah, it does too. Yeah. And, and it kind of forces yeah. you to play things in a different way for each run, for each time around. Yeah, yeah that is true. Especially if, like if you uh, like me, you like to do everything before you beat the game. The Coliseum is like the hottest part of that's what they call it. Oh, the yeah. Arena. Yeah, the battle arena. That's the hottest part of the game. I'll tell you what makes it easier for me. Uh, yeah. Soul Trooper P plus two strength arm bands. Who was the first thing you said to equip? I didn't hear that. I'm uh, the, the Soul Trooper P. Ah, okay. And two strength arm bands. Yeah, I kind of sort of just cheese my way through it. I just get a whole bunch of mana restoring Ooh, items. Uh, so when I clear a room. Rush coil like, just like heal my mod and then quickly use like a spell that would heal me or something. <laughs> and uh, I if this is who I think it is. I'm good. Now I'm good. I'm good. I'm away. Yeah, I don't wanna say this, this guy is weak. Oh yeah. The only problem is with that armor setup I have, it has very low defense. I was gonna say some huge defense. But you can but depending on your level, you hit up to twice as hard as you ordinarily would. Uh is beat still effective uh, against this guy? I forget. You know Kinda I mean? sort of. Well, basically the way the strength formula works, every time you're just that your strength doubles. Yeah, beats beats good against this guy. I think we're good now. Oh, yeah, Beat just got a... Beat got a... Yeah, he's fast. Let's beat up for that. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I assume that means you won, because I'm yes. like, Oh my goodness, he's about to die. <laughs> Thankfully, there was that one energy tank at right before the boss door. Yeah. And Wily's like, Oh my god! There's some Eggman stuff going on right now, it's like running away. Everybody ever noticed that when Eggman is running away from Sonic, he's actually able to run away from Sonic? It's called plot. That <laughs> There's no other excuse. <laughs> I'm just gonna bow down before you. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> you know, running in circles doesn't solve anything. Yeah, while like, I'm getting on Yeah, chase after him while the ceiling's going down on you. Great idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mega Man, Man is very strong to hold that ceiling up. Which, why would the other levels a problem if he could do that in the first place? I think the main point thing I want to point out now is like, how can somebody so fat run as fast as a hedgehog? Right! Sonic, the hedgehog. Right. <laughs> I just, I just chalk it up to there's, there's no excuse. You just, you just need to find another robot. That's it. <laughs> it also, it also saves them the effort of having to create a whole new villain for the future games. Yeah. Same, uh, same way with the Mega Man series. Doctor Wily always gets away, except for I think six. Yeah, but in my opinion, Wily is a better bad guy than Eggman, I mean, but I don't even know what to think about Eggman. Well, I mean, there is... Before, before I go into spoiler territory, he's played Battle Network 5 and 6. Oh, yeah. I have not, but uh, I don't really have any plans to, so go ahead. Okay, yeah, in, in 5 and 6, Wily is sort of not the villain from what I understand. More so in five. I, if I, oh wait, where's it four? I really need to put these. Yeah, I said I haven't played them in a while either. I can't. I think that one of them, them in one of them, in one of them, Wily's actually not the villain. Most games. And I'm, I like how. Uh, we actually actually have a decent number of people here to talk. I was kind of afraid it would be me talking yeah. to myself throughout this whole deal. Please, <laughs> what do you expect? Yeah? This is me streaming. This is like the fifth time I've streamed ever, so... 
<laughs> and and Crystal's, I I want to do this more often. Just it's, I guess it's my work schedule being as weird and inconsistent as it is. It just I would want to do it like in a consistent manner, like a lot of people do, like a certain day, certain time. But I can't really do that. So it's just a matter of me doing it when I can. And I figured I would probably have to announce it on YouTube because otherwise, who would actually know when I'm online? Because coming into this, I think I had like eight or nine followers coming in. Like the yes, like I didn't even know you had a Twitch channel until today. Well, considering I hadn't used it in, in like three years. It got buried. And I only used it once. It was what I, I used it once to play. Uh, it was a perfect cherry blossom, and the quality was not that good. Considering it was Toho, which I guess can can uh, do that sort of thing sometimes, Dude, but I the fact that I actually got to Yu Yu Ko during that run surprises me. Uh, yeah. And dang, that only took uh, me about an hour and a half. You know what they should run the highs, even though it would be ultra difficult? Hmm? There is a game on the NES called Swords and Serpents, if they randomize that... that I've played awesome. it, I've LP'd it, I know exactly what you're talking about, and oh my god, if they randomized the maps on that, that would be insane. Yeah, that would be an awesome game.